Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for July 13th, 14th, 15th, and 16th, Monday through Thursday, for my Libras. How are you, my Libras? I hope this is a great week for you. Now, you know I use two Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, and then I'll try to just pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay. Three cards face down. The first two are reversed, so that means strong energy. That's how I read that. Now, I'm an intuitive channeler, and that means that I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is that needs to come through, it does for whoever needed to hear it couple of things about um, going on. Okay, so Mercury is going direct at 12, 13. So here Mercury is. It gives the illusion of going retrograde. And now it's going to start going direct. Well, it's got some space to get back to where it started from. So you may find that you'll be revisiting. This is why this is called the shadow of Mercury retrograde. It takes about 14 days. You may find that you're going to be revisiting some things um, in order to close them off, okay? Um, another thing is we have a comet going through, and actually you're supposed to be able to see it. I will be, po and it came around, I think it came into our atmosphere or our universe or however, around that July 3rd and 4th time, I think. I don't know too much about it, so I just heard about it today, so I wanted to bring it to your attention. I will post some, um, you know, a couple, I'll post at least one um, article about it, and it'll give you the times and how you can see it. Okay. Then, too, my last thing is that I started this week. When I do my comments, I talk to you, believe it or not, and I videoed me talking to my comments. So I've been posting that. I'll probably just do that once a week and maybe just for like 15, 20, 35, 45 minutes, depending on how much I want, how much, you know, how much we need to talk. Okay. Anyway. Let's go on and see what we have for my Libras for Monday through Thursday. Again, this is reversed. Here we go. The sun. This is a great this is a great way to start the week, okay? For Monday, if you're going into work or if you're working from your home or whatever it is, this is about this is a highlight. This is happiness. This is feeling just general, like, you know, getting your vitamin D if you're not getting outside. And I know that people in the Southern Hemisphere, it's more your winter now. The people in the Northern Hemisphere, it's the summertime. Get outside, get your vitamin D, let, that, let your body soak that up. It helps you with your health, all that good stuff, as long as you're not allergic to the sun. But this is, this is really, okay, but, but in reality, this is absorbing the positive energy around you or uh, or not necessarily from other people but you know um, when I talk about your words and your thoughts being positive and you putting that out this is you also getting that back okay so be positive put positivity out you know the people that don't want to be part of that positive plan you don't need to be around them at this time it doesn't mean you're going to cut the ties though sometimes my Libras for you it does but for right now, it just means you need to be where the positive action is. You need to be where the light is. You need to, you, it's like you're this plant that's been kind of in the corner and now, it, you know, you've been pulled out to, to get that sunshine, okay? This is, the, this is what you need to be doing. The people that don't want to be part of that, you can move your, you can move your chair away from them. Anyway, the sun is Archangel Uriel. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the, pos the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So it's like, you, it's like the more you project, the more it comes back. Your next card, again reversed. Here we go. The Queen of Ariel. Now, this is, now, the thing that's interesting with this is Libras like things to be pretty. Libras like those nice things in life. Everybody does, but you actually have this very, you really enjoy it. I mean, you know, it makes you yourself feel more positive. Now, Ariel is Earth energy. Um, this is Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. A lot of this is, you know, um, solid, something, someone you can touch. 
So this could be about making your home a better place, making, um, and I don't know why, but this is more, I'm feeling too, this could be your workplace, okay? Making that, bringing their vibrations up. I feel like my Libras, you need to pull your vibrations up and that you need to help to bring other people's, but it's not your job. It's not your job. I mean, yes, we do need to, you know, what we, you know, we do need to help to lift others up, but if they don't want to be lifted up, it's not your job then. You can just say, I tried, maybe I'll try twice, and then it's not your job. But this is making, this is being surrounded by, this is surrounded by pretty, by beautiful energy. This is in your workplace, or it could be your home. It's just making things better. I love her. I mean, she stands regally. She stands confidently. She stands tall. So, the Queen of Ariel is mature, practical, generous, and happy. Nurture yourself, which is something you don't do enough of, my Libra, so I'll, I'll, I'll yell at you on that one, and those you love, but they have to want to receive it. If they don't, just nurture you. Okay, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. Your last card of this deck, the wheel, a 10. Ten's transitioning, you know, shoo, Nine's finishing something up. Ten's moving towards that new one. The wheel, Archangel Energy. You're getting these two. So things, this is move, This is very forward motion type of energy. What is the wheel? Wheels, you know, we, you know I'm, getting, I'm not going to say, but I'm getting that song about, you know, the wheels on the bus go round and round. But the thing is, and I'll have it in my head now. So, but the thing is, it has to motorize it. It has to move it forward. So, you know, you're, you, you should feel, you should feel like things aren't as stagnant anymore. You should feel the energy pushing you forward, okay? Now, use this. If this is something that, again, you know, I, I talk about job and work because that's usually what is on people's, you know, that's what worries people the most. Yes, we need to have job, we need to have money. And if that's what you need, then put those resumes out. This is a great energy for that, okay? For you, okay? Make your, and do something a little bit different. I don't know what, you know, make your, make something a little bit different on your resume itself. Keep it short because this is what's opening your doors. But things, things are going to be shifting for you, moving for you. Um, you know, I feel that, um, you know, again, with that Mercury retrograde going direct now, you know, there's a lot of karmic type of energy, too. Okay, Archangel Jeremiah, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. And this whole reading, this whole reading is, has an excitement to it. It has, but the thing, too, as I see my Libras kind of going, yeah, I'm, I am excited, Deb. Is it really going to happen? You know, hey, you got to hold on to the excitement, too, okay? You have to hold on to that. Things could be things could be changing, and the Queen of Ariel also brings me with um, you know also makes me feel more that home and family type of energy too. So, you know this could be you know this 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 is very nurturing. Nurture yourself, take care of you, stay, keep your mind on that positive because you know it's really you know it's really you know my Libras raise your vibrations up. Okay, this card just fell out. It is reversed. Here we are, the Eight of Fire. So this isn't going to be something. This wheel, this, you know, the sun burns hot. Now, the sun is also, you know, indicative of Leo. So there could be, we're getting closer to Leo season. But in the wheel is, you know, again, it's that, you know, new beginnings, new beginnings, new beginnings. But the Eight of Fire, fire energy is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, passionate, burning, determined. This is, let's get things moving. Let's get things moving. So, my Libras, it's time for get things to get moving. Embrace the changes. Open yourself up. Positivity is the, you know, is the um, key to a lot of this too. Okay? So, anyway, events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. So you just needed Mercury to go retrograde and, and then and, so, and to stop and to move forward. You just were waiting it for it to go direct. And I do feel that this comet has a lot of type of energy for you too. Okay? So yeah, I, I feel like this is a week of possibilities. Positive possibilities for you, 
my Libras. Now, if you enjoy my readings, remember those buttons, like, share, subscribe, all those buttons down there. As always, my Libras, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.